Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over an example with you in Excel that will show you how you can compare investments that have unequal lives. It turns out that when you are evaluating investments that have different useful lives, maybe one project lasts longer than the others, whether or not you should select one or the other depends on whether you are going to be replacing your investments or replacing the projects with additional projects. To help explain that point, let's consider the following example. Let's suppose that there is a company called Dust Chemicals and it's trying to decide between two different conveyor belt systems. Now there is system A, which has an initial investment of $295,000. It's gonna last for four years. And if the company uses this system, it's going to have to incur annual operating costs of $77,000 to run this machinery. It also has the option of buying system B. System B is gonna cost more, $355,000. It is also going to be more expensive on an annual maintenance basis. It's going to cost $83,000 per year to operate system B. However, it has a useful life of six years. Now, both systems will be depreciated straight line to zero and will have a zero salvage value. They'll essentially be scrapped. The discount rate is 8%, the tax rate is given, which is 21%, and you're being asked which conveyor belt system should the company choose. Now, what I've done here is that I've translated all this information in Excel. Here's system A, here's system B, and here's all the information that is given to you. Now, what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna calculate the NPV of both the systems. And in order to calculate the NPV, we need two main things. This is always true. We need the cash flows or the financial or free cash flows that the systems are going to generate. And we need a rate at which we can discount those cash flows. Now, in this question, that discount rate is given. That's 8%. So the task at hand is to figure out the free or financial cash flows that both systems are going to generate. Let's start with system A. So for system A, I've laid out the timeline going from zero to four. Zero represents today, four because the system has a four year life. Financial cash flows are calculated as operating cash flow, net of capital expenditure, net of changes in networking capital. Let's take this step by step. System A is going to cost us $295,000 in initial investment. So CapEx is $295,000. Furthermore, it tells us that depreciation is straight line down to zero. What that means is you're gonna take this 295 and I'm gonna lock this with the F4 button so that this doesn't change and I'm gonna divide this by four. And this is going to be my depreciation for years one, two, three, and four. Now, the question doesn't really talk about whether the systems are going to help us generate in additional sales. So we're going to assume that there are not, not going to be any additional sales. So zero, 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 zero. However, for system A, the annual operating costs are going to be equal to $77,000. That is given. So I'm going to just write that down here and I'm going to copy this and paste this through and through. This means that earnings before interest in taxes is going to be incremental sales or sales minus 77 mine is the depreciation so 150,750 and this is going to be true all the way now operating cash flow is whatever you get net of taxes from this and then you add back depreciation this is something that i've covered in a separate video as well and so basically we're going to say equal to EBIT, whatever is left after taxes which is going to be 1 minus 0 0.21 because the tax rate is 21%. And then to that, we're going to add back our depreciation expense, which is given. So when we do that, operating cash flow is 45343. I'm going to copy this and paste this through and through as well. There's no additional capital expenditures that is happening in years one to four. And more importantly, perhaps at the end of year four, when you're gonna sell the machinery, we were told that salvage value and book value are zero, so there's nothing here. Generally, you're given some information on changes in networking capital. 
you don't have to worry about that because nothing is given on that here. So there are no changes in networking capital. And so now free cash flow is just your operating cash flow minus CapEx minus any changes in networking capital. When you do this and paste this through and through, you get this. Basically, system A is going to cost you $295,000 up front. And after that, the operating cash flow is going to be negative 45,343 for the useful life of this investment. You can do exactly the same thing for system B. So here I have my timeline going from zero to six years because that is the useful life of system B. So now very quickly, I'm going to populate this table in exactly the same manner. So this is what things look like for system B when I input all the numbers. Notice that there are no additional sales as before. Operating costs on an annual basis for system B were given. These were 83,000 lasting six years. The initial investment is $355,000 and the depreciation expense has been calculated as this divided by six because it's straight line down to zero. The after tax salvage value and the book value are both zero, so you get nothing towards the end. And so free cash flow, as before, is going to be operating cash flow minus capex minus changes in networking capital. I copy this formula and paste this through and through. And this is what then the situation looks like for system A over four years and system B over six years. Now, in order to see which investment is better, as we said before, we want to calculate the net present value. If you do this for system A, this will be equal to NPV. This is the NPV formula. The discount rate is given. That is 0.08 or 8%. You will highlight these four cells first, and then you will add to that the initial investment, which is negative. So the NPV is 445,180. If you do the exact same thing for investment B or project B, again, the discount rate is 8%. You will highlight all these numbers right here. This is going all the way out till six years. And then you will add the initial investment of $355,000. And so if you do that, you shouldn't be surprised that the NPV of project B is coming out to less than the NPV of A because it cost us more. There were more annual operating expenses. Now here is the punchline. If you are looking to invest in a system and you are not going to be replacing it once the useful life is over. In other words, if you install system A and after four years, once the system is done and you're not going to replace it with another system, then the best bet here is to choose the system with the highest NPV, which in this case would be system A because the NPV for that is less negative. However, and this is the important part, if you are looking to replace the system with another one after its useful life, then technically you cannot compare this 445 with this 600 because this is what you're going to get over four years, whereas this is what you're going to get over six years. A fair comparison would be to say, you know, what is it that these systems are costing me on an annual basis? And that is exactly what is the intuition behind this concept called equivalent annual cost, EAC. And what equivalent annual cost says is this is let's convert this number into something on an annual basis. And the way to do that is something called the payment function. So if you use the payment function, it'll ask you for the rate, which is again, the discount rate that's 0 0.08. The number of time periods in this case is four, and in the present, the value that you're getting is negative $445,000. I'm going to enter that as a negative. It's a negative of a negative. In other words, I want to enter this as a positive. Why? Because I want my cost number to come out as a negative number. Ignore this for the time being. But if you do this, it's basically saying when you get this 134409 
what this number is telling you is that spending 445,180 on system A in NPV terms is like spending 134,409 on an annual basis, okay? Now, if you do the exact same thing for system B, you do equal to PMT, you say the rate, which is again 0 0.08, the number of time periods is six. This is the important part, right? Six. And the overall cost or the NPV of the project is negative 600,000. If you do this, you'll get negative 129,937. And this tells us that on an annual basis, system B costs you negative 129,937. So now, if you are looking to replace the systems after their useful life, the appropriate number to look at are these equivalent annual cost numbers. And here, as you can see, system B is better because it's gonna cost you less on an annual basis. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And feel free to ask any questions using the comment section. Happy learning.